Mix 93, our post game is brought to you by Keeping Overhead Door, but our coach's corner brought to you by Fine Line Tire in Hancock. Fine Line Tire Express in Houghton, where we serve you the guests. 6 2 final here tonight. Huskies fall to the National Development Program. Coach Sean is with us. And, Coach, uh, my first question to you was what I asked Dave right after the game, too. Did, do you think we got out of this game what we were hoping for? Yeah, I think so. You, you watched it from up here. We uh, found the guys that were playing, that, that were willing to play at a pace and willing to compete. I think the, what got us into the game a little bit is. One of the guys, I think, early in the second period, knocked down Arvid pretty good in the in the zone down here to our right, and everybody on the bench is complaining. I said, fellas, they aren't here to make friends, just so you know. They're the best that this country has to offer. They aren't here to make friends, so you might want to figure that out and, and start competing yourselves. And yeah, I think we found some guys. We, you know, I, I gave everybody a chance early to, uh, to, to see what they were going to do and how hard they were going to play. Um, but but I got exactly what I wanted out of it, and and uh, you know we we need to see what guys can can play at this pace and play at this level, and which guys can't. Who can make plays at this level? Who can stay up with the play at this level? Our D learned a lot. They I mean our turnovers have been atrocious, in, in, and and not not the numbers, but but the. Uh, quality of them the emphasis of what they've resulted in and so and we you know the first period they probably had a dozen odd man rushers max was incredible um topi is topi's a really good player uh nordy is a really good player he is he's got a smile on his face he's doing a great job on the power play i like what crespi did on the power play so um you know obviously not happy with a with a, a 6-2 butt kicking but um you know, I thought that uh, we, we found some hockey players, and right now where we're at, it's just one guy at a time and just trying to get trying to get better. And, you know, guys aren't going to get better, and they aren't going to learn how to make plays in traffic, and they aren't going to learn how to put the puck in the net and, and do all the things that they need to do until they first start competing and, and uh, get themselves in those mucky areas. And then once they get better at that, um, hopefully a learning curve and, and some skill develops within that uh, part of the game. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, Tyrone Bronte and his play to set up Nardella on that first goal? Just an incredible effort, I thought. So happy for him. So happy for him. What a, I mean, he's uh, he'd been fighting the puck uh, big time in practice, you know, and he, but he's still coming and studying and trying to do, trying to do better. And uh, he and I, I love how hard he played. I love how hard he competed, and he brought a little bit of juice out of out of Nardell. I didn't I didn't particularly care for Nards in the first period, um, but I think he kind of got some courage. Uh, watching Bronte out there and watching what Bronte was doing and Bronte set him up on that first goal. I didn't really see it yet, but uh, it was some sort of a bang-bang play at the net. So, um, you know, th- those guys have, have quickness and they make our team quicker. So I was I was happy. I thought we, again, it's one guy at a time, one guy at a time, and I think we got a few guys on board. And I don't know if we, I don't know if we lost any passengers today that we had before. Um, and I think we added a few people on. A few people got on the bus heading in the right direction. So I'm pleased with that. We lost Jed Pietala early. At least we didn't see him uh, on mm-hmm. the ice anymore. What are you able to tell us about him? Well, he's. Uh, we'll get. We'll work right now on getting him back home. But he had a rough, rough start again. So you know, the, the the unfortunate thing is we were, we decided to move Nordy back to defense. Um, to give us some stability back there. We were getting a little, you know, it wasn't, Jed was struggling a little bit, as was Evan Orr. You know, you saw that the pace and everything was a little bit hard for them. Um, and then so he was, Jed was getting some spot shifts in there after that. And on, on the, whatever goal they got, the third goal, maybe the second period, he got his yeah. bell rung in there on that. He turned the puck over and then got drilled behind the net. And then they put out front and, and uh, you know, put it in the net. So he got, uh, uh, he'll be in some pr- protocol and, and uh, they'll, Nate's looking at him right now, but we, we'll send him up north and figure out what we're going to do if we can get another player to join us on our trip. All right, Coach. Well, hey, uh, I mean, like just like you said, uh, six two. You never want to lose six two to anybody, but uh, it was fun watching this game, and it was fun watching us in spurts kind of take over the game for a while. There, we had a couple of opportunities, you know, a, a few sequences there where things were really going good for us in the offensive zone. Yeah, and we'll we'll look at the mistakes that we made the game. I mean, the the last goal, that power play goal, was hideous. How the guy walked all the way around. Right. Like these guys can make some plays, and they're certainly strong. But um, you know, a 20, 20, <laughs> 23 year old man should be able to to some degree handle these guys keep them to the outside when they're trying to walk up and walk that seam so we you know we have a lot of we have a lot of growing to do but i am i feel way better about this game get getting pumped here than than i did about last night's game i thought last night's game was just it looked to me two bad teams it just really did i honestly i hate to say that but it looked like two bad teams flopping the puck around there was nothing with any r- rhythm or any uh 
you know, any purpose to, 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 in a lot of ways. And tonight there was. Tonight you had to play hockey because if you don't, these guys showed us early. They, 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 they put up a, a double, you know, double numbers on us. So, again, we, I thought we got better. And we'll see if, you know, we'll see if that carries over. It's not going to get any easier. Alaska, big ice. They can skate. They're winning games right now. So, um, it's not going to get any easier. So, you know, but that's where we're at. We just got to keep getting better. Thanks for your time, Coach. We look forward to waking up early to get your show on the air on Monday morning. And I uh, can't wait for the Thursday, Friday series against uh, the Nanooks. Thanks for your uh, everything, Coach. And we'll talk Great. to you in just a Thank little bit. Thank you. Thank Head you. Coach Joe Sean.